Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another fashion review. If you somehow missed it, please go check out my fashion review of the Louis Vuitton Fall and Winter 2024. This time, it will be the Hermes Fall and Winter 2024 collection. Just to preface this collection, I actually like this collection. It's not very Hermes or it's not a Hermes type collection, but, but I actually think the design and the collection works for Hermes. The only problem I have is there's a lot of black in there. Too many blacks or dark gray or charcoal, whatever you want to call it. But certainly it is appropriate for the fall and winter 2024, especially since we're talking about Hermes, it is very uh, high end certainly. But there are some uniqueness to the design in terms of details. I'm strictly talking about the details, not the overall uh, design itself, but, but I'm gonna get into it when I do the review per slide that you're gonna see details, how every detail does kind of change the look in terms of the overall style. So let's go ahead and do the fashion review. Well, my fashion review of the Hermes Fall and Winter 2024. Onto the first slide, as you can tell, all black and it's also with charcoal with the velvet uh, suede or dinner jacket with a turtleneck and also with the black uh, slacks. And then moving on with the double breasted jacket, very tailored. And then with also with the turtleneck, but it's a loose turtleneck. I like this, very simple, very city-like. And then we got something very outgoing, very fun. You got the loose turtleneck with sleeve, uh, sleeveless with the belt uh, buckle in silver. And then slack, something that you can go out with. And then of course we got the tailored two-piece suit with the scarf. Um, business-like I guess very silly like and then my favorite is the last slide as you can tell it's the shirt it's an asymmetrical collared shirt even though the placket is in still in the center front but with the two-piece suit but the high collared makes this style you unique enough to differentiate itself from the rest of the designs or the pictures on to slide number two well, we got a faded dark olive look right here with a sleeveless uh, shirt with, it could be a scarf or a loose uh, loose collar, a loose uh, turtleneck collar with the slacks. And then we got two piece suit. This could be, uh, again, velvet or heck, uh, could be suede. But then again, I think it's more velvet with the turtleneck, uh, two piece suit. And then we got an overcoat right here, again, with a velvet a turtleneck and then something different with a uh, how should I say this collarless bomber jacket fuse uh, style right here with the two big front pockets and of course with the turtleneck uh, rib jacket with the loose fitting slacks and then finally we got a, a cinch belt a jacket leather jacket with a side zip and also the high collared uh, shirt underneath with the slacks with the brown shoes Slide number three, we got the Argyle in effect. On the first picture, we got the bags too with this, uh, could be leather pants, and then also the Argyle underneath with the vest jacket. And then here we have um, sweater vest Argyle with a scarf on the neck with a matching, I guess you can say, beanie. And then we have a slacks. And then we got a relaxed, loose fitting Argyle uh, neck zip jacket. Well, I'm sorry, not neck zip jacket, but a sweater with the Hermes duffel bag right there. And then we got a leather trench coat with the slacks. And then also a big, huge collar, probably another jacket underneath. And then here we have something different. I actually think Hermes pulls it off very well. Is the last picture a great trench coat, leather trench coat? in very uh, charcoal green color with a turtle uh, with a turtleneck kind of light blue i guess you can say and then i uh, it's very very german or hugo boss like or even 
uh, Armani like twos, but nonetheless, it's a great jacket. And then here we have an asymmetrical uh, biker jacket uh, that's most likely cropped with the slacks on it. And then he's uh, he's carrying the messenger bag right there. And then he, here we have a, I want to say a puffer jacket. Um, I can't tell. Do you see the puffer jacket, a long coat with a turtleneck underneath. And then you got a skinny fit slacks right there. And then here we have with the Sherpa collar jacket. That's definitely heavy with the green sweater underneath and then also the slacks right there. And then here we, here we have a uh, very nice uh, pastel purple jacket with also the cardigan underneath, uh, purple-like. And then also the black slacks and then here we have the lavender, light lavender jacket. Uh, more like a uh, rain jacket, I guess you can say, or a windbreaker with the slacks and also the green uh, turtleneck with the bag. On the fifth slide, we got a half zip turtleneck jacket that's probably that's tucked in into the slacks with a belt buckle. And then here we have it's also the bag, or you want to call it the purse. And then here we have the weekender or uh, hold doll with the lavender sweater underneath this plaid jacket long jacket with the slacks a very nice combination love this combination and then here we have uh from the third and fourth slide is the two-piece suit uh plaid or gingham jacket i guess you can say but most probably plaid i guess with the third slide on the orange uh, sweater underneath and then here we have a very navy blue uh overcoat uh with the yellow purple black tie and also the sh black shirt underneath and then on the last pic picture i really like this last picture something different i'm not sure if that's a denim jacket or a loose fitting jacket if not it looks like it's more of a uh, leather shirt with a cardigan purple uh lavender color purple uh lavender i'm sorry lavender cardigan underneath with also a plaid jacket with the slacks i really like this combination on the sixth slide with the plaid again on the overcoat and then also a shirt underneath with the turtleneck man the guy has uh, some emerald uh, colored hair right there or you can even call it Tiffany blue or Robin's egg color with the black slacks and then here we have is a uh, dark sand color uh, pea coat with the plaid underneath uh, have zi uh, full zip jacket underneath with a scarf and then we got a half zip a sweater here in the middle a slide or middle picture I'm sorry and then with the overcoat and then here we have the green sweater for both fourth and fifth slide with the black slacks on the fourth picture with a long jacket right there and then also you got something that's for the street and or something for the city is the fifth picture with the uh, mustard beanie and then you got the purse right there and then you got a chain in there but there's nice with the loose fitting slacks hey something for the city on the seventh slide this is something with color which i like so all of these are basically uh in the green shades or yellow green shades so the first picture is we have the dark green and also the light uh that could be herringbone from what it looks like uh over uh, overcoat and then on the cardigan too, green cardigan with the leather pants. And then on the second picture, we got a green cardigan, green sweater, black leather pants. Here we have something really cool with a windbreaker mixed with green and also a light green too with a black slack with the leather uh, bucket hat. And then here we have is a bomber jacket, a yellow green bomber jacket and then with the sweater underneath with the black slacks with the hold all bag and then here we have with the diamond pattern uh green i mean uh, yellow green uh blue and brown sweater with a turtleneck and also a big huge overcoat with the black slacks i actually like this some you know something about the diamond pattern brings a bit of a color and also pattern to the overall style onto the eighth slide something for the office i guess you can say uh, first picture is we have a shirt uh, shirt underneath with the leather long jacket and then also the slacks and then here we have his hat uh, zip vest with a uh, also shirt underneath with a black slacks and here we have something off-white uh, trench coat from what it looks like with a black slack and also brown shirt with the 
it could be a purple scarf or also a purple um, turtleneck sweater and then here we have the same similar very similar with the black leather pants uh, I guess you can say gray vest and also black shirt underneath with the scarf holding the bag and then here we have something that um, black leather belted jacket with the scarf and also black slacks uh, look I, I I guess you can I can see this more of an office attire I mean even though the first picture doesn't look like it but all in all you could probably wear this in the office on to the last slide the na the ninth slide first picture is we have a dark green uh, long jacket uh, with the black leather pants and so black shirt underneath uh, man that's very uh, typical very casual and then he here is a jacket that I really like with the side style double breast uh, side uh, on the side asymmetrical double breasted or crop jacket with a side pocket on uh, and then you got six buttons in the front and then also you also got a uh, belt loop style on the sleeves and all the way up with the dark brown leather pants and then finally you got the herringbone and then the lavender windbreaker underneath with a uh, off-white turtleneck uh, sweater most likely with the black slacks and then with the bag i really like the i love the style on the third slide and so that is basically it and that concludes my fashion review of the hermes fall and winter 2024 so to summarize the style i really like the uh this uh, collection by hermes for fall and winter uh, it's not something extravagant but hermes knowing hermes they're more uh, traditional they're more into subtlety not only that they uh, add a little bit of flair to this design but for the most part i've said it in the beginning this is not something that i see hermes uh creating but i'm not mad at it i actually think it's actually uh good uh, i'm hoping the, a lot of these styles will come out in stores and i won't be surprised if a lot of men actually wear this i mean not everybody is a model but if you if but it, it, if it can fit you then hopefully you use the uh, fashion runway show for fall and winter 2024 as inspiration on what to wear especially buying a style uh, especially buying a clothing for hermes but you really have to be rich because every one of these pieces will be or is expensive that is for sure and let's not forget the bags too the bags are definitely going to be up there but nonetheless just in terms of the overall presentation of the collection it's absolutely good and so that is basically it for my review of the hermes fall and winter 2024 and so i will see you in another fashion review this is mr informal Bye-bye.